defense obviously had to kind of weather some, some storms and some adversity on Saturday. How do you think they did kind of dealing with some of the penalties, the targeting ejections, some of the kind of the odd stuff that happened throughout that game? Yeah, I, I think for the amount of points we gave up any time, you know, in college football, that's tough. And, and so I thought, I thought we played well. And, uh, you know, Coach always talks about next play mentality, and I thought we did a good job of that because of the, you said some penalties and things that extended drives where we thought we were going to get off the field. And the other one time we think we're going to get a touchdown and, and the ball comes out and ends up a touchback. So, uh, uh, yeah, I give our credit, kids a lot of credit for going to the next play and, and competing hard through the whole game. You guys have been putting Willie through the ball security drills this week at all, or giving him some flack about that? <laughs> they did last night, that's for sure. Get, got him wearing the ball security drills. So, uh, uh, but uh, it was a great play and catch it. But uh, yeah, we got to learn to take care of the ball and, and, and finish it off. I mean, that, that would have been a big momentum changer there in the game. Do you think that's something defensive players ever lack is, is the ball security? I know a lot of them played offense in high school, but it kind of seems, seems to happen often throughout the country as well, defensive players. The, the bottom there. line is they, if they had really good ball skills, they'd probably move over to offense. You know, that's just, you know, when you get kids that are running fast and that. But uh, at the same time, you know, we do. We do the takeaway circuits and we do things like that. And, and uh, we do. We need to uh, we need to emphasize the ball security because uh, – uh, obviously, you know, they, you can't score without it, and that's that's the, the whole goal of every series is just get the ball back for the offense. Coach, third down has been a big point of emphasis for you throughout the season. You look at how your team did against Cal, only one touchdown. I think both those fields were from 40 yards out. What was your assessment of the team in that area? Yeah, you know, third downs get you off the field, and, and I think we played well in third downs all year long except for a couple games, and uh, uh, we're, we're going to need to continue to do that. Uh, in order to get where we want to be. Going back to those passing appearance calls, then you look at the video of Dominic Silva's ejection for targeting. Does that get particularly frustrating for you, sitting up there in the press box, knowing that you can't have a conversation with the officials at all about it to address it? No, nope. it's the way football is. Do you find yourself as a defensive coordinator having coached at the Division One level for a long time now, finding yourself in, find, finding yourself having to like relearn the rules and defensive penalties and how they're enforced? Nope, I, I don't worry about things I cannot control. What, what do you think of uh, Skyler's play on, on Saturday, kind of coming up with the, with, with the key interception and uh, at a key time? You, you guys weren't able to capitalize offensively, yeah. but obviously kept them out of the end zone. Yeah, it, that's, and you know, one of those, the drive had been extended by a couple of penalties, and so uh, I did, like I say, all of them did a great job keeping their composure, but uh, but he made a great catch on the sidelines, and uh, uh, yeah, he's about one of six for the week. He dropped about six of them in practice, and but he caught the one that counted. How do you think the cornerbacks have kind of fared? A, a few of them playing a little bit more without without Sean back there, and, and especially Marcus kind of stepping up and starting the, the, those couple games. Yeah, you know, they've they've answered and, and played really well. You know, is it uh, could they play better? Yeah, but I do think we've seen some consistent improvement from them, and uh, and uh, we're we're going to need to continue that this week for for the athletes we're going to face. And with kind of expanded opportunities for, for George, how, how do you think he stepped up? Good, good. He really has. And so, uh, and most of the time, that's what happens. You know, you put somebody in there who hadn't played much, and, and they usually do a lot better than, than you think they will. I mean, it's important to them. And, and uh, so, proud of those kids. They've taken advantage of the opportunities. What's the key to stopping Colorado? Uh, you know, tackling in space has a lot to do with it. They do a great job of getting the ball to their skilled people in space. and you know, on the short routes and that, and then, and then, uh, but we still got to be aware that, you know, they do take their shots down the field over the top. And so if we can uh, defend the long ball and, and tackle well uh, in space on the short passes, then we should have an opportunity. Have you gone back and, and looked at the game from last year? Obviously, I shut them out and kind of held, held their passing game in check. It, do you use any of that any of that stuff for, for this year? Well, you know, we base a lot out of the same stuff and quarters, man free stuff and that. And so, uh, uh, yeah, we're doing a lot of the same stuff. And, and uh, uh, but I also think each year you got a few change ups and, and uh, make them work a little bit. And then what do you think of their receiver, uh, LaVisca Chanel? I know he's kind of questionable, but yeah. when he's healthy, what, what yeah, they're do? explosive. There's two of them, you know, too. And number three also is that uh, they, they make some very good plays and, and uh, you know, the coach's son's awfully good player when he plays. They, they make a lot of plays, and so uh, um, you know, we'll have to be on top of our best. And that's the thing about a team that gets the ball in space. If you're not ready to play, it can get ugly in a hurry. What have you seen out of Namadi Oguayo since his return to the rotation two games ago from injury? You know, he's uh, gets off the ball and, and uh, big, strong kid, and, and uh, it's, it's definitely helped us in our rotation. And then, you know, somebody who was projected to be a starter, but then 
you have to work your way back into the mix since this defense has already found its identity. How has he handled that process with just getting himself back up to full speed and messing with the guys again? Uh, been great. Been great.